Let's have a look at Dr. Afra box artwork. Yes, I am quite looking forward to having the plastic bubble back as uh, this is just a photo uh, uh, of Dr. Afra and although people might like this, uh, again I'm just one of the guys in uh, the, the wagon uh, jumping on <laughs> saying uh, please can we have your I can have the plastic bubble. But um, I digress. Beautiful artwork on the sides, the spine, the bottom, and of the comic book Dr. Afra. And uh, she's not canon, of course, in the films or TV. She hasn't haven't seen her, heard from her. This is the back of the box that's saying what she is. Lily's in the back. Too many, I say. But all the same, oh, that's the bottom as well, but I think it's quite nice, unique, beautiful, having the artwork on the sides and on the front of the flap. And inside, of course, the flap of this uh, black series. Let's get it open. Okay, let's take a look at Dr. Afra. The comic book styled artwork, yes, from her box. And here it is. Here's the black boots. And a little bit of an epic that it, she was a very hard figure. To, it is a very hard figure to actually stand. Why I've got blue tack. So she can stand because. Uh, I tried to stand her and lift her for a while, and she just fell over her ankles. Oh, pretty iffy, I guess. But the, the color tones on this figure are awesome. I love the dark browns to the even darker browns of her gun holster, and her black uh, fingerless gloves, and her boots black. Uh, brilliant, fantastic. Uh, knee high boots, of course, with her beige color. Raincoat feel flat uh, canvas type uh, uh, trench coat with the implements in one of his shoulders. Are, I guess her implements of doctoring, of course. I don't know. Um, a good fit, seeing a splash of silver in that as well of her costume. Awesome, awesome orange. Uh, feel to her shirt, the belt buckles are copper brownish, and the scarf is a lighter, lighter brown, and being a darker brown cap of a, a dark brown, but I, I love how this whole costume, what it is, and how it looks, it's just, I think it's a, a beautiful, um, Beautiful comeback to giving this figure to us, uh, Dr. Afro comic book style figure. Okay, let's have a look at the accessories. The trench coat is awesome looking. It just reminds me of a raincoat jacket, canvas, uh, wet beaded, tight badass trench coat. Uh, out in the weather, all weathers, hot, cold, you name it. It just looks cool. I love the grooves down the sides and slip up the back. It just. Mm, just it looks so cool. Love the beige color as well. It just accentuates the whole entire ensemble of Dr. Afra. I love the 
boots, the blackness of the boots and the, the colours of uh, her pants and the holster as well, darker, darker uh, brown, uh, just accentuates every meticulous piece of uh, her costume. Overall consensus of this action figure is just love it. I just love it. Yes, I love the colour palette, the colour tones, her facial sculpt. I think it might be a lot better than the old black and white, uh, black and white, black and red boxes back in the past. You can tell me down below. Yes, comment down below if I'm wrong or am I, uh, am I right? I love the box artwork to this box. I don't, uh, two little nitpicks. I do hope and I do pray. And it's coming. We get the plastic bubbles again. And I'm uh, quite looking for that this week. We need to see what the figure is. Okay, I need to see what the figure is. And see, there's all the accessories all there and uh, what not. Uh, and whatever, uh, you know, anyway, you know how the story goes. Uh, I, I, I kind of, uh, uh, you know, less accessories is pretty good. I mean, you know, we only get the cap comes off. We don't get the goggles coming off the, the, the cap. The uh, uh, 1942 looking uh, goggles, goggles don't come off the cap. So that's yeah, pretty naff, but it's okay. Um, and the scarf comes off, though. Uh, I, I just kind of like the um, the color palette to this figure. Um, it, it's so it is badass. I, I love the trench coat. I just I just love it. I, I love uh, the uh, the ensemble of this figure. Uh, another little nitpick: uh, ankles. Uh, she doesn't stand properly. So if you've got to stand, uh, yes, uh, stand her up on a stand, and uh, I'll put blue tack uh, if you're posing. But all in all, all around good package and packaging, action figure, uh, um, I cannot really say enough about it because uh, the good outweighs the bad of Dr. Afra, this figure. Uh, I, I do like the, the packaging, although I... I really want the, the the bubble so we can get a, a proper look at uh, look at the action figure instead of the cardboard uh rendering of the figure uh, and uh, just uh, the lighting of the figure does not represent what you get out of the action figure itself if you get what i mean if you know what i mean uh the accessory is pretty good with dr afra um i guess i'm not i mean this is my first foray into a comic book action figure uh, in, into my in, into my collection so I don't know um, I don't know if her facial features or facial sculpt is better than the last the first one uh, I don't know um, but overall again I would say yes uh, pick it up brilliant uh, you'll be pleasantly surprised I, I guess if you if you um, uh, like the comic book character Dr. Afra, and you probably like this action figure. You know, I liked it because it, it looked badass with her, uh, with her look. Anyway, please like, please share, please subscribe, and comment down below. And I'll see you next time.